Hello, welcome to This Week at EPL. Uh, I am Andrew. And I am Jane. Uh, today, well today is technically um, November 7th, 8th, November 8th. But this is for the week of November 7th. It's Tuesday. We usually do this on Monday, but <clears throat> we were delayed today, so um, apologies there. Uh, I do want to give you an update on Thanksgiving week hours. Those are going to be uh, uh, listed on our website if you check that out. Of course, our website is down. Um, lift up your right arm just a little bit. My right arm. There yes. you go. You can see underneath and then point down over okay. over about, about there. There we okay. go. <laughs> that way, that way. Point that <laughs> this way. This way, point this that way. way. And then okay. go continue to the right. To the right. right, right. There you go. See, there you go. Ah, awesome. I got it. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, sorry. The volume is a little bit loud there. Here, there we go. Oh, cool. Sorry. You're good. You're good. Here, you I'm can good. <laughs> um, anyway, at epl.lib.in.us, you can go there and check out uh, the hours that are listed there. Mm -hmm. It's one of the very first things. Um, Eckhart Public Library's campus will be closing at 5 p.m. on Wednesday, November 23rd. And we'll be closed on the Thursday, November 24th, and Friday, November 25th. We will be open on that Saturday, though. Um, I think that's different from slightly previous years. Uh, maybe last year we might have been open. I'm not sure. But either way, um, that is that. Uh, let's see here. Where are we going to go? We're going to get into some featured stuff. Um, and I have just gone over to our website here so you can see uh, what I'm talking about, actually. Thanksgiving week hours. It also does mention that our digital and streaming services and public Wi-Fi are always available 24 hours a day, even if the library is closed. That's right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> funny enough, it does say digital and streaming services, and if you can see, you might be able to see, when I hover over where it says digital and streaming services, it kind of lights it up and it's underlined. I'm going to click on that, actually. And it should bring up, yeah, there we go, mm. digital and streaming services. Now you can find that under library services as well. The reason why I'm going to mention this one is because today Canopy is our featured item. Uh, Canopy is, what is Canopy? Do you know what Canopy is? No, no, I don't. <clears throat> Tell well, me about Canopy. Why, Canopy is the <laughs> best video streaming service. I can't do that. i got to put them on. Best video <laughs> streaming service for quality, thoughtful entertainment. You can find movies, documentaries, foreign films, classic cinema, independent films, and educational videos that inspire, enrich, and entertain. Um, oh, we part. Oh, so this is from Canopy. We partner with public libraries to bring you an ad-free experience that can be enjoyed on your TV, mobile phones, tablets, and online. So it's a kind of a video, mostly a video kind of platform. So you're telling me this is a free, free <clears throat> service? It's something that comes. Well, it's it's uh it's part of our services that we that we provide. Um, and I think you get ten, uh, ten titles. Yeah. Um, use your library card to check out and stream hundreds of movies, documentaries, television shows. Library card holders can check out 10 titles per month. And Canopy allows for simultaneous use and items automatically return themselves. Step-by-step -step directions can be found by clicking here. I like that, that I don't have to bring all of this stuff back. Yeah. That yeah, it yeah. automatically checks it in for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty easy and it's, and it's fun too. Um, I've watched a number of things on there as well, so I can I can say that it's it's good, um, it's nice. Uh, there's also Canopy Kids. That's an option that's Ooh. on there as well. And I think there's like a slider up at the top somewhere uh, where you can do that. And I'm actually going to look on my phone here right now, and I won't really be able to show this to you very well. Um, mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> Canopy Kids, where is that? Where is that? There it is. Um, so there is an option. Let's see, Canopy, now down in the bottom corner, there's an option where it says more, and you can tap on that, and then somewhere up here it says go to Canopy Kids, uh, and it brings up this. And it's got headings like fun series for little kids, it's got read-along storybooks, uh, it's got highlights, like if you know Highlights Magazine. Yes, yes I do. Um, it's got stuff from them there, uh, story times, funny stuff, myths and fables, movies, TV series, quick flicks. Um, I think when I went through here, there were a, a decent amount of things like that I remembered from PBS. Yeah, I see, I see Reading Rainbow is on here, Pinkalicious and Peter Vick, Sid the Science Kid, the Berenstein Bears, um, Molly of Denali, Arthur, yeah, and others. I really but those like are just ones that I recognize from PBS Kids because the, from my son, son watches that a lot. So Yeah, I really like the books. Yep. Yeah, they are great, and, and I check them out. All, all the time. Yep. 
All right, so that that that's is, um, and then so that's available in, in, in for apps and that kind of stuff, and I think you can do it on the computer as well. So if I click on that, I think you should be able to see this here. Uh, add a library card, you can log in. I believe you do need to have um, the, um, an account set up on their website, uh, but that's pretty easy to do. It doesn't mm -hmm. take a whole lot. Um, it doesn't cost, of course, at all, uh, as we were mentioning there. Uh, let's see here. Now we're going to go on to the things that we have going on this week at APL. Um, I do want to mention as well the ongoing thing, like what we have. Um, there are take and make kits that usually go up on the first of the month. Mm -hmm. uh, we're about a week in now, so those may or may not be there. The kids' ones definitely always go pretty quickly, mm -hmm. uh, but check it out. Still, there are. Last I knew, there was one where like you could make like a dinosaur costume out of like green construction paper. <laughs> so that was there. Um, now, the kind of ongoing thing for Die November. <laughs> November, dinosaur, dino, <laughs> dino November. Uh, there are 11 dinosaurs hiding in the library. Yay. Grab a dinosaur scavenger hunt paper at any desk in the main library and search for that number, uh, for, for the number of each dinosaur. When you find all 11, bring your completed paper to any desk at the main library and collect your tasty prize. <gasps> What's the tasty prize? Uh, it's candy. <gasps> As if you haven't had enough candy. You never, never have enough candy. All right. Yeah. All right, now I'm going to go over to, back to the website, and I'm actually here. And then let's go back to here. I'm going to scroll up and go to the calendar. Mm. Because Monday, so this is a little bit different. On our, on our calendar, uh, I click here, and it doesn't have, like, for example, yesterday's, um, which was Monday. So mm -hmm. I am going to go toward the next Monday. Uh, so Eckhart Envoys and Social Science Surveyors are the elementary and middle and high school uh, groups that we have for like homeschool families. Um, every morning at 10.15 uh, in the morning, uh, every Monday morning at 10.15, take part in this opportunity for homeschool students in grades K through 5 to learn about countries and cultures from around the world. Eckhart Envoys. So next, um, next Monday, when is that? What is today? Is that going to be eighth? Is this the eighth? Is the seventh? So es, es, Eswatini, I remember that's what it was. Eswatini is the country that is that they're going over. Hmm. And then, for example, Bhutan, uh, I think that's how you spell that. Or say that. Yes. Uh, and then Chile. Oh. Those are so those are coming up. Um, they come in in pairs, so each country gets two two weeks. Hmm. Social science surveyors is at eleven fifteen, I think. It, uh, less, sorry, eleven thirty on Monday mornings. Um, this year, they'll be, again, walking with Henry, as uh, as we've said in the past. So what that basically is, is um, it's kind of focusing on this book, Henry Hikes to Fitchburg, by D.O. Johnson, and discover what happens when people start interfering with the environment. What if they improve it? Sometimes changes turn out for the better. Sometimes they mess up entire ecosystems. Uh, so environmental sociology looks at this interaction between people and the natural world. Come explore. So that is middle school and high school. Um, and so these are all at the main library building. Mm -hmm. I think they meet in the assembly room. So if you, if you come in the main door by the fountain and go up uh, half a half a flight of stairs uh, or up the lift that's there too, mm -hmm. um, that's where you'll be going for that. And this is for parents and uh, the students. This is for, so um, the it's, it's mainly for the students. I'm not sure what the parents do during that time. I think they maybe just go out and use the library um, mm -hmm. but otherwise it's, it's it's a class for the for the students largely um, ah. if you want to you can come and see and come and talk to Karen and see what what other parents do mm -hmm. um, but as far as I know yeah I think the parents are not as much there uh, it just it's like a class mm -hmm. um, also um, so it's elementary this one does I have seen uh, parents there because um, we have done a, I've, I've been in a, a couple of these. Um, it's Elementary is, I'm looking at next week's uh, event on the calendar again, uh, after school fun and discovery for grade schoolers. We rotate between art, STEM topics, hands-on, history, and making food. Oh. So seventh. The seventh was learn how to be a spy. <gasps> so like code and that kind of thing. Oh. Uh, and also, I think they wrote notes to veterans during that time, too. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Now, the do you know what STEM is? I do. What does STEM stand for? It's science, technology, uh, and math. 
Uh, uh, engineering, engineering and, and math. <laughs> uh, yep, yep, there we go. Science, technology, <laughs> engineering, or or math. I guess is ah. is what this is listed as. Now, I'm not sure if that is the if they have a. Um, it's interesting because the 14th and the 28th has that same same wording there. Hmm. So I'm guessing they're going to be some kind of interesting thing. That's a combination of those. Uh, so that is um, what is listed for the the 14th. Sorry for next Monday. Mm -hmm. um, and then the Monday after that, Georgia O'Keeffe, oh. American Modernism, um, with uh, I think it's with Miss Diana is what it says. So it says American Modern Moder Modernism, Miss Diana. I think that's what it's going to be. Um, and then the next one after that is, again, Science, Technology, Engineering, or Math. Now that says uh, 1128. Hmm. Yes, that's right. So that is the Monday before, let me click on my handy dandy cal yep, yep, calendar. That is the Monday before uh, Thanksgiving. So that Ooh. takes you through through um, through November that I have written down here already. But mm -hmm. then, of course, you can look at the the calendar here, and you can see things like uh, learn about some holiday traditions and old school games, cookie decorating, uh, Augusta Savage. Uh, I want to be like Savage, but I don't think that's <laughs> how that is. Um, hard the Harlem Renaissance uh, with sculpture, Miss Diana. Um, it says there. And then, of course, the 26th of, of uh, December is the day after uh, Christmas. It's mm. bo Boxing Day in Canada. Yes, it <laughs> is. <laughs> um, which will be closed that day. Mm. <clears throat> All right, so that is, um, what was that? That was, uh, it's elementary. Mm -hmm. Now, to continue on here, the thing that also happens uh, most Mondays, or hopefully some Mondays at least, uh, is... Available uh, community Dungeons and Dragons. Mm, mm -hmm. um, oh, I like that. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Now the thing that's different about the community Dungeons and Dragons um, is that it's it's like um, it's something that you can that you can lead if you're a, if you're a teen uh, or if you have a teen in your life who likes uh, D and D, they can um, can either bring in their own play group, they can use the space, play that time, um, or um, they can try to be a part of something else. Uh, but it's something that uh, that sometimes um, sometimes there's a group for it, sometimes there's not. But the only, you only know by by coming. Uh, you can always email um, info at epl.lib.in.us or gaming at epl.lib.in.us mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, or stop by the teen library um, anytime that it's open after three p.m. Uh, on days with school days. Uh, yeah, on, on weekdays. Uh, or 12 to 3 on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you can talk to people who are there and see uh, see if you can get a group together. Mm -hmm. uh, otherwise, it's uh, scheduled from 4 to 7 at the Teen Library. Uh, story times. Oh. Tuesday and Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been to a story time? Yes, yes, yes. I have. It's elementary. Well, and, no, that's not a story that's time. That's not a story time. But, um, but yes, I have. Family story time. So family story time is Tuesday and Wednesday morning at 10.45. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's an interactive literacy-based experience for all families uh, to gather and share time together. Mm -hmm. uh, we will lead a story based on a theme and have songs and activities designed to encourage mental development and socio-emotional learning. Um, so that is Tuesday and Wednesday morning, 10.45 a.m., and then Tuesday evening as well at 6.15 p.m. So the sun will have just gone down at that, <laughs> at that time. <laughs> oh. And you, you have led... I have. This, yes, yes. And, and yours are just terrific. Oh, thank you. Those are the ones that been, I sit been, in on. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, so that is Tuesday and Wednesday story times. Now, Tuesday there also is, was scheduled Murder and Merlot, uh, a crime, true crime book club. Uh, I believe that's actually been canceled for this month. Um, ah. So you'll want to tune tune in, stay tuned, listen, watch, check out the calendar for the next time that we have Murder and Merlot. Um, that probably is also part of the emails. So if you get mm -hmm. our emails that let you know kind of what's going on, new items, all that kind of stuff, you'll mm -hmm. want to watch that area. Uh, now, of course, where are books available? Uh, books are available. Thank you. I'm glad you asked. Yes, <laughs> yes. Where are, are the books available, <laughs> Andrew? <laughs> the books are available um, at the main library. They're kind of back to the side of the main desk on the, on the main level service, <laughs> service desk. Um, <laughs> And the cool thing is that for any of the book clubs, you don't need to be, uh, you don't need to have a, a library card. You need to have an Evergreen Indiana card, um, any kind of card, um, mm -hmm. to be able to be a part of that. So you can you can um, leave your information. Uh, we'll put it on a spreadsheet so we can find the book if we don't if we didn't didn't get it back. But mm -hmm. um, 
Otherwise, you don't need a library card for that, which is pretty cool. Oh, I like that. Especially yes. great for people in Jackson, Jackson Township. Mm-hmm. Yes, it is. Um, now, Wednesday is the uh, Eckhart Public Library Board of Trustees meeting. Oh. That happens in here, right? Yes, it does. That is, uh, mm -hmm. we'll hold their 2022 regular monthly business meetings at 6 p.m. on the second Wednesday of each month at the Wilner Genealogy Center. This is at 700 South Jackson in mm -hmm. Auburn, Indiana. Mm -hmm. uh, um, future dates, they're obvi obviously it's always on the second uh, Wednesday. Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> but you can see a list of those dates by clicking on here. I just want to make sure I was still on that screen. Yeah, of, of future dates here. So that's for 2022. Mm -hmm. And of course, that'll be updated once we get into the next, the next year. Um, let's go back. Will you show everybody how to get to this yep. website, please, because I always forget yeah. how to do it. And they I can always uh, go back in the video. You can you can grab the little pointer and scrub back in the video. Uh, it's just going to our website and clicking on calendar. Mm -hmm. uh, so and also the link is in the chat or okay. it, it's in the um, whatever it's called the uh, hmm, what is it called the description of this video. So underneath the video, you can click on the area where it ah, says see okay. more or something like that, uh, and you should be able to see there. And when the folks want to look at Canopy, they want to check something out from Canopy. How do they, because uh, I'm not going to remember it. How, how do I get to Canopy? Uh, it's an app, so you'll probably want to download the app for it uh, and then check it out that way. Uh, and then, of course, um, right now it is uh, listed on our main page. Hmm. So like right here, Digital and Streaming Services. Otherwise, you'll go to Library Services, uh, and then that should be... Here someplace, maybe it's in the next streaming services and digital content. Let's go. There. Hmm. Yep. But otherwise, yeah, it's its own website, so you'll want to, uh, you can just Google Canopy with a K-A-N-O-P-Y or use the app for it. So once you do it, um, it should be there for you. So That's you, easy. You later. Yep. I can remember yeah. how to do that. Yeah. All right. Let's see here. Um, continuing on, so that was Wednesday, now Thursday. Thursday is Genealogy Chat. Yes. Tell us about Genealogy Chat. What I'm are we planning on doing for this week? I'm glad you asked, Andrew. Um, <laughs> it's a live show through Facebook, mm -hmm. and we talk about all sorts of topics, fun yep. stuff. And uh, this week, the topic is Veterans Day. Okay, yeah, we're gonna, Yeah, yeah, we're going to talk about the history of Veterans Day, uh, Veterans Day in Auburn, and we're also going to also going to do a search of one of our exciting databases, which is Fold yeah. Three. Mm -hmm. It's the military database, and you can use it from home or your library. So I mean, it's it's going to be exciting. Oh, and I forgot to mention that uh, you can come on down and watch the show uh, anytime you want. And you can make comments uh, and so forth and ask questions. Uh, a live audience. We, we really like that. Mm -hmm. we, we like the live audience. Um, but otherwise, it will be live on our Facebook page. And then it will be uploaded to YouTube. Yep. And it's uh, from 3.30 until uh, 4.15, 4 yeah. something like that. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and I, I was bouncing all around trying to find where it was on here again. Mm -hmm. uh, let me bring it up here. There we go. Uh, so that's what we're going to be looking at mm -hmm. then. Yes. Discover your family's military past, mm -hmm. of course. That's right. Um, and, and as I think you said this as well, you can come in, people can come in, and they can, they can be part of the studio audience. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and we love studio audience. Yes, we do. The, the clapping and the cheering and... The booing and well, all of that. Questions and all that kind of yes. stuff. Yes. Like, ah, oh, it's, it's nice to have feedback and that kind of thing. Yes. Um, you can always ask questions on the live video as well. Mm -hmm. um, and actually, I should mention as well, because we are on um, on on YouTube right now, mm -hmm. uh, but this will be going up on Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, but we will going be going live with Genealogy Chat on Facebook itself. Mm -hmm. That's right. All right. Um, so that is uh, now Friday. Now, we do have Babies and Books on Friday at 10 a.m. to 10.30. Uh, that is a program designed to build early literacy skills in some of our youngest community members. Uh, we will meet in the Secret Garden every Friday um, and sing songs, sing nursery rhymes, read board books together. 
Um, there have been there's been a healthy group from what I've I've I've, uh, I've come to understand. So mm-hmm. keep watching uh, this space or on the calendar or such like that. Or if you come in uh, at the usual time and we're not there, you might check up in the assembly room. For example, we want to make sure that people aren't all packed in too much. Mm-hmm. Uh, for right now, we're still planning on being in the secret garden, though. Uh, we just want to be watching out for uh, sicknesses, especially with the the was it RSV going around mm-hmm. and that kind of stuff. So, do I need to register my child? You don't for no. this class. You just show up. Hmm. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Yes. There's a lot of there's a lot of fun kind of time for the parents to get together as well as well, mm-hmm. um, socialize and such. If you're always at home with the, with the child, there it's nice to to get out. Um, Yes, it is. Yeah. It sure is. I, now, I know about that. Yeah. Yes. Lego Club is the other thing that's going on on Friday from 4 o'clock to 4.45. Oh. Elementary school kiddos are invited to join um, every Friday. Uh, building fun and social, socializing uh, Legos Legos will be available. We ask only bring your imagination. Hmm. Um, then November 11th, uh, it's going to be build an American landscape uh, and help write thank you cards for veterans going on the honor flights. Aww. Yeah. And then November 18th as well, uh, build your favorite feast. Hmm. Out of Legos. Of course. <laughs> you never built a Lego turkey? No. Lego no. cranberry sauce? No. Lego pumpkin pie? Mm, yes. Oh. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh. And you love Legos. You, you build things all the time. I do build things. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and then also Teen Magic the Gathering is something that's also on the slate for Friday, uh, starting around 4 o'clock, 4.30, going until 7. Um, it's kind of an open play. Uh, we are, I will mention as well, if you are interested in Magic the Gathering uh, and you're an adult, um, stay tuned because we might do something with adults Ooh. Uh, with that. So there's been interest that we've had. So there's that. Now, I would go to that. Yeah. I'd meet other people who are like me. Magic the Gathering. At the gathering, yeah. that's right. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, and then Saturday. So there's actually a lot of things going on on Saturday. Mm-hmm. I'm going to flip back to this page here. And then let's go back to... Here, tell you what. We'll go back to the, the home page again. Okay. Um, there you go. Click on mm-hmm. calendar. Scroll down a bit. And then uh, you see, of course, it says Dinosaur Scavenger Hunt. That's on here every day just because it's something that's ongoing. The Friends of Eckhart Public Library book sale is going on as well. Oh, tell us about that. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that the Friends of EPL raised money to help fund the programming services, uh, uh, programming and services at Eckhart Public Library? No, I did All not. All of their proceeds go towards supporting the library. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> the Friends of Eckhart Public Library will hold their book sale on the second Saturday of each month. Mm-hmm. Um, the hours will be 9 to 3, but 9 to 10 is for Friends members only. Hmm. And then 10 to 3 is for everyone else. Hmm. You can buy membership at the door, though. Um, uh, Books will be priced from $1 for hardbacks, 50 cents for paperbacks. Uh, This is a great opportunity to get some great deals on books, Mm -hmm. movies, music, and more. More. (laughs) While supporting the library. (laughs) Yeah. That's, Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. That's that's very cheap, very cheap. I mean, I can come in and buy... Books. Cheap and cheerful, as they Cheap say. Cheap and anyway. cheerful. I can come in and buy a lot of books. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, I think the stories are still. I mean, the stories are still good. They're still the same books. Mm-hmm. They're just fifty cents, a dollar, mm-hmm. whatever. Um, wow. Dog tales. Oh. You you were reading through this before we started. I think here, dog tales at the main library, ten thirty until eleven fifteen a.m. on Saturday. Mm-hmm. People love stories. Mm-hmm. Dogs love stories too. Mm-hmm. This is your chance to read to a new four legged friend. Oh. <laughs> These pups are patient and great listeners, so they are uh, the perfect audience uh, for new readers mm-hmm. that are practicing reading out loud. Dog Tales is on the second Saturday of each month as well. Uh, start, it started in August, uh, and it's in the secret garden on the lower level of the main library. All dogs are part of the Therapy Dogs International, and we are grateful for their partnership uh, to offer this program. Mm-hmm. And it's so good for the, the puppies. Yeah. They, they really, really love it. Yeah, Helps it kinda, them with their reading skills yeah, and, yeah. and all of it that. It gets them familiarized with people and situations mm-hmm. like that as well. Um, and then it also helps the young readers, because uh, yes. especially if the readers are reading something like um, um, some of the early reader books mm-hmm. um, or picture books and just kind of working their way through that kind of thing, mm-hmm. or um, just anything really, I guess. Uh, they can come in and read to the dogs. Yes. That'll and help, help gives, the, reading, help gives the, the puppies a chance to be petted 
and, and get to love and, <laughs> and all of that. So come in and, and help you. your, your favorite puppy. Yeah. Yes. Now, heritage skills. <laughs> heritage <laughs> skills uh, is the next thing that's happening, and that will be taking place starting during the dog tales, actually. So um, what is that? Heritage skills uh, is kind of something that focuses on simple living, green housekeeping, preparation, um, and this one is focusing on composting. Mm. Uh, let's double check. Let me Composting. Check yeah, composting, 11 a.m. Um, so um, learn how to reduce food waste and improve your garden. Mm. Uh, and this is something that I think, is Dan doing this? I think Dan is doing this. I think so too. Yeah, so like if you look mm -hmm. at some of the stuff that we have in our natural, in our native garden mm -hmm. um, that is around the library, um, like we've taken a bunch of leaves and put those in, mm -hmm. um, things aren't like being, you know, cut up and taken away and such like that because there are, are um, bugs, insects, things and whatnot that are in um, in those, like the eggs and stuff like that, mm -hmm. a butterfly, you know, whatever. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. That stuff is all um, overwintering kind of in, mm -hmm. in that stuff that's there. So that's wonderful. That's part Help, of the helps the, I'm sorry. Helps the, the, the grass, the ground, as well as our little insect yep. friends. Yes. Yeah. So that is that, and that is what's going on this week at EPL. Um, yeah, yeah. That's a lot, a and it's all free? Yeah, mm hmm yeah. For anybody, anybody can just come in yeah. who, who lives in the uh, Jackson uh, Yeah, like to attend, to attend any of our programs, you don't need a library card at all. Mm -hmm. um, most of them don't require signups. There are very few that require signups. And we'll always try to mention that here. And then if you look at them on the website, you should see there if there's a sign-up required. Um, and then I'm going to skip ahead real quick for next week just because there are some interesting things. Uh, also, so for example, things like book clubs. Mm. There is a teen book club next week, uh, Fairy Tale. Uh, I want to mention some of the book clubs a week earlier because maybe you need to get the book for yourself and read it out. Um, there's also going to be the DeKalb County Mock Newberry going on next Ooh. week. Uh, and then another thing to mention is the Teen Art Club D&D uh, mm. &D Dice Polyhedral Dice. Oh. Making dice. Oh, that'd be cool. Oh, yes. Yeah. All and right. it's only for the teens. Yep. Uh, so, for example, anything that is that anything that is in the teen library mm -hmm. uh, is intended for teen patrons. Mm -hmm. uh, they can bring, you know, a family member with them, of course. Mm -hmm. Um if they feel like it, but otherwise, that doesn't happen a whole lot, um, but uh, if that seems necessary. Also, we've had a number of uh, other kind of, um, I don't remember uh, whether it's like like some kind of like therapy uh, kind of meetings there uh, with teen patrons and such. Mm -hmm. uh, if you happen to be somebody who does that, uh, that's a good place to, to come and uh, uh, provide that service. Oh, yeah. uh, what else? Um, Children's programming as well, those are intended for the, the children, mm -hmm. but that more likely will have a parent with them and such like that. Um, family can usually come along, um, though they'll also say who they're intended for, so it's pretty cool. So where is the teen library? The teen I don't know. Oh, it's Aww. over there. It's right across from the genealogy center. It's so. a brown uh, stucco, right? It is brown right? now. It is brown It's now. a dark chocolate. It, it's brown like a... Uh, Hershey bar chocolate, yeah. maybe. Yeah. Or, or the color of our uh, blinds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, now, we're going to be actually having a new sign put outside up front before too long, but it doesn't have anything listed up there right now. It had been called the third place. Mm -hmm. um, so if you end up searching for Google, it might be, you might find it under third place, teen library. But otherwise, um, you can just put in teen library, Auburn, Indiana, or you can go to our website and find the address there. Mm-hmm. I think that's going to be it for this week. Wow, that's that's a lot. <laughs> too much. I can't. Too, I can't. Oh, too no. much for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. Well, we will see you next week. Uh, until then, have a great week. Yes, have a great week. Cool. See ya. And thanks for watching.